Hi hey guys, Theo Blender here back with another Blender tutorial. Today we're gonna do a cool Blender animation with the Taurus knot spinning and uh, and changing like colors. So as you can see here in the background, I'm showing you the animation. So that's very cool. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off by changing from blender render to sex render, then deleting the default cube, and we're gonna go up to fine, use preferences, and we're gonna enable two add-ons. So start up in tissue. So we're gonna enable this mesh tissue modifier that's new in the Blender 2.79. And then we're gonna type X to in here extra start typing extra and we're gonna add the add mesh extra objects. Okay, so now that we have that we can close the use preferences. And if we press shift A to add objects, we have a lot of extra objects here. So I'm gonna go down to Taurus object and add a Taurus knot. Nice. So now I'm gonna press Shift A again and add a t default Taurus. I'm gonna decrease the Maya radius to something about that. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna scale it 0.5, so make it a bit smaller. And then I'm gonna select the first Taurus, then the Taurus knot, and I'm gonna go to the Create tab. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna open this new tissue uh, tab here and then I'm gonna press tessellate for this project all the default values will be okay if you want you can play around with uh, scale and offset to make wha what you think looks good but I think the default value is okay so I'm gonna go ahead and press ok and after a little while you'll get uh, this uh, cool effect with the holes Okay, so let's d delete the Taurus, we won't be needing it anymore. And then I'm gonna choose the new Taurus not deletion. I'm gonna go to the modifier tab and add a new modifier, shrink shot modifier. I'm gonna, for the target I'm gonna select the Taurus knot. And then I'm gonna apply it as shape key. Now I can go ahead and delete the Taurus knot. Nice. So now we have only this here. And if we go to the object auto tab, we have the new shrink wrap shape key. So it morphs between the, the towers knot and the new towers knot deslation. That's good. Let's go ahead and animate this. So I'm gonna change the end frame to 180. I'm gonna make sure I'm at frame one. Then I'm gonna set the value here to 0.95. Okay, nice. The reason I don't go all the way up to one is uh, that you will get all these uh, weird problems with the normals so that's about why I'm going 0.95 good and then I can either right click and insert keyframe or for the shortcut I'm gonna press I and that will add a keyframe there also and now the background will turn yellow okay so now I'm gonna jump to frame 90 I'm gonna change the value down to 0 press I then go to last frame 180 and set it to 0.95 again and then press I nice now we're gonna make it spin also so go to the first frame press N to open this tab here and then I'm gonna uh, uh, press I on the rotation nice then I'm gonna jump to the last frame 180 and I'm gonna rotate it on the Z axis by taking 360 and then I'm gonna press I and now it will both morph and uh, sp spin great so let's go ahead and uh, select the camera angle so I'm gonna press Alt R and Alt G to meet right in the center 
then I'm gonna press R X then 90 like that and then I'm gonna move it back on the Y axis I'm gonna go to the render tab and I'm gonna change here f the resolution to 180 180 and 100% and if I press now 0 on the numpad you can see you're in camera view and I'm gonna press here under view here look camera to view and now I can move it while in being in the camera so I'll use something something like that to look good nice now I'm gonna go ahead and animate the lights so I'm gonna press this point lamp press all G to move to the center the one to go to the front view and I'm gonna pull it up do something about that I'm gonna go to the lamp settings here and I'm gonna change the size to 10 I'm gonna press use notes and the strength to 800 I'm gonna change the color to be a bluish color here like that and then I'm gonna press shift D and Z to move it on this, only on the Z axis up and down and here's good and I'm gonna change the color to a pinkish color nice now we're gonna animate them so I'm gonna add an empty plane axis then I'm gonna select both lamps and then lost the plane axis oops not touch not select that and then the empty and I'm gonna hit control P and I'm gonna make a the object now the empty will be a be, will be parent to them so now if I move the empty or rotate it I see I wrote the both the lamps also nice so I'm at frame 1 and I'm gonna go to the rotation press I to insert a keyframe then I'm gonna rotate it along the Y to 360 and oh I forgot to jump to the last frame you have to jump for the last frame before you do that and then 360 and then I'm gonna press I nice so now the lamps animate okay so now I'm gonna change the background color for the worm so if I press go to render view here you see it doesn't look too good so I'm gonna change the background color to the bl to completely black nice that's good so now you can see, wait you can see it goes between them the different and I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna zoom out my camera a bit because it now it kind of gets out on the camera when it's at frame 90 so that's better okay now I'm gonna add the music so I'm gonna jump into the video editing I'm gonna press shift A and I'm gonna add a sound and you can choose to what sound uh, where you have your sound f uh, saved and then I'm gonna press add sound trip <laughs> strip. and now if I go back to the default if I pre play you can hear the music there so that's great so I'm going back to frame 1 I'm going to save my project by hitting Control S and you can save a project nice so now I'm going to make sure it's a move format so I'm going to press uh, uh, delete the override tab and I'm going to change here with the map where I want it and I've already set up where I want it saved but you can choose wherever you want uh, your project uh, the with the final movie when you animate it to be and I'm gonna change here from pingy to ffmpeg video I'm gonna open encoding and I'm gonna change the presets to H264 in mp4 and then I'm gonna change them from medium quality to high quality but minimum speed is just fine I'm gonna scroll down a bit 
and then I'm gonna change the audio codec to AAC. Nice. So now that I can save it before when I change it so it doesn't crash while I'm uh, animating. So that will be it for this tutorial. I'm gonna press animate now, and uh, yeah, it will take some while to animate the the file. And then when it's finished, it's gonna look very good. So see you guys in the next tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and uh, even subscribe. Bye. Thank you.